What's up guys, in this video I'm going to be walking you through how you can be able to export all your WordPress images or media libraries and get it downloaded. Perhaps in one way or the other you actually want your images to be downloaded probably for a reason best known to you. I'm going to be walking you through how you can be able to download these images successfully to your device or to your hard drive or anywhere you want to store it to. So without further ado, let's just go straight into the tutorial. Hello guys, you're welcome. This is Kingsley from Blast Channel. In case you're just joining me for the first time, please ensure you subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to hit on the notification bell so that you can notify each time I upload new video or so that you'll be the first to get notified whenever I upload content like this. So now you can see this is the website this is uh, the images on the web website i'm going to be exporting now i'm going to be walking you through several ways you can actually do this and at the end of the day i'm going to give i'll save the best to i actually prefer just ensure you watch the video to the end so that you're able to know how to do it directly and now if you can see by the time let's say for example for me to there's no option we are for me to actually download all the images. So even if I click on it, I have to start durably downloading them one after the other. And of which that is not what I actually want to do. Especially when you are working with a site that has lots of images. So now what I'm going to be doing, the other way, I'll be first way I'm going to be showing you how to go about this is to come over to your C panel. Once you go in from your file, you select the website can see as I just as I did here, selected the particular website in the website folder, then select WP config. Then you can, when you come to upload, you can just download zip this folder. You can download it directly. Yeah, for you to be able to download it, you have to first of all, you have to compress it to a zip file. Once you compress it to a zip file, that is where you can be able to now download the zip file itself. So now that's one way you can do it, do that now another way but what now you can see where right, you these are all where all your it they are into separate so that's why i said you should just download from the main upload file now one thing you should take note is that once you do this you'll be having a lot of different varieties of because you know if wordpress actually store your images on different sizes you can see this is one particular image but it created like different versions of it so that's to be able to fit on the each and every devices you, we are working with so that just one side effect of doing uh, exporting it from here directly so now what other way are we going to you can we use to actually do this now another way is probably coming to your websites now we can either use any of our or any any backup plugin you can either use any backup plugin you want to make use of from there into it actually that help to get all the images packed together as one file for you that's another alternative for using backup plugin to actually do this now on the way i will actually advise you to make use of that will actually give you the best result to me is you are coming down to your plugins go to add new plugin then so once you hear what you're going to just do is to quickly just search for media library i'm going to just search for media library media library downloader media library downloader so just search for it Yes, allies, you can see this is it. So now you can see you can multiple files at it. And so now just click on it and click on it and install it. I'm going to install it, then activate it. So now you can see once I have activated it, you can see when you navigate to your media library, I'll come to media. So once you're here, what you're going to just do is just to click on box select. So I'm going to click on box select to select all the files I want to. So I'm going to just select all of them, select them all. So I'm going to just select all the ones I want 
to it. So once I select them all, you can see normally we normally have delete permanently. Yeah. But now you don't have another button. Just ignore the language you're actually saying here. But once you click on this, once you just click on this, it's there to download the images for you. You can see, you can see it has actually downloaded the image. You can see here yeah, is this sister downloaded the image. So now let me just go to my download. So let me just show you so that you see how everything is just so I'm going to refresh this. Okay, here is it. So now wait, once I open this, you can see all the images here. So now let me just try and do something. I'm going to extract it and so that you oh we just want to make sure that you what we have there is what you are actually seeing here. So you can see it actually downloaded everything for us. So that is one way we can do this. So another way we can or so can still make use of another plugin in case this particular one is not suitable for you. So now another way we can actually do that is using so I'm going to come over to plugin again. This time around we are installing another plugin. So this time around we are not going we are going to be searching for export media library. So you can see once it loads up, you just scroll down, you see exports media library. This is it here. So once you get this, you are going to install it and activate it also. So I'm going to now click on activate. So click on once I click on activate, you can see once you come here, you can see you now have another additional button here. You can see another additional the so now once you click on export it's going to ex ask you to select the range and the structure you want do you want it to be nested or do you want to be to use a single folder now one thing you should if it is if you want if it's nested now no normally just like let me show you from my c panel you can see i have this so now no normally c panel saves it according to the modes so if this this one was actually one more okay let me just open on a bad different side so that you see how what i'm talking about let me see i'm opening this let's see okay uh just that is now four okay you can see this is it you can see different this is if you select nested this is how it's going to give save them according to the amount it's going to save them according to that's where you select nested folder but once you select single folder it's going to save them in a single folder just the way this other one actually saved everything in a single folder so that's how it's going to once you do that you are going to just ignore this as that's just click on download zip so now once i click on download zip it's going to download it can see it's that's actually downloaded it for me yes see it here so now we're going to let's show you that see there is it so now once i open it if once let me extract this also extract to this now you can see once i open it you can see the files here you can see all my images here so this is how you actually go about this in case you actually want uh, ever, ever wanted downloading all the images from your website so this is how you go about it so i believe this video must have been helpful to you in case you're still watching this video and you've not yet considered subscribing to my channel please hit on the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notified each time i upload video or content like this so until next time, this is where I'm going to stop. Bye.